Hello there, my name is Mauro Sicard from Bricks Templates and today I'm going to show you how you can easily edit sliders inside your new Webflow template. Okay, so a pretty common element on our website templates and not just in our templates, but really in all the website are sliders. So what I'm referring to sliders are just sections where you can slide through different sections and some of the content will be partially guided until you slide into it. I know that explanation sound a little confusing, but it's really just like something like this. You can have some arrows and you can slide across many different types of content. And like this is one example, but really there's many different sliders. Here's another one, for example, or like here's another one, for example. Uh, and like this is just uh, a few of those. Most of our templates, if not all, have a slider. So you like, we have over a hundred templates and pretty much all of them have a sliders. So the process on how to edit this is actually the same for all of them. So no matter if you don't have one of these templates, you will still be able to follow this tutorial and you will see how easy it is. So let's see the tutorial in the example from this Cryptography X template. So we can go into the template and I will open the designer preview so I can show you how this is done. So we're loading the preview. Once we are in here, and it can take a few seconds, but it's just it just ended loading. We can go to the page where the slider is like is belonging. So in, in this case, our slider is in the home page. You can see it is just right here. So okay, once you select the slider, you will see that you have and a slider component. In this case, we name it slider wrapper. And you can see like it has this little kind of slider icon. It's a little like not super, super visible unless you uh, check it out in detail, but I will make it a little bigger for you. Like you can just see that like it's a little slider. Again, very small, but noticeable. And that means that is your slider. So what you see there and in there is that you have some mask and then you have a few different slides, okay? So we have like all the slides in here. So you say, okay, actually I want to edit the second slide, but like it is not showing. Uh, okay, so that is super simple to fix. You just need to go here into the top right into settings and you will see that you have all of the slider control in here. You can just move it just like that and any one you select, you can just edit it. So it is re really easy, that's that. You can even change a lot of settings like the duration of the sliding effect. Or you can change the uh, the effect, for example, you can make it a slide effect. You can see the slide effect is a little different. So you can have all the changes in here. And even you want to add more slides, it is just a matter of selecting your slide in here, doing copy and paste using your keyboard, uh, and you will see another slide we would add. It. In this case, like, you can see that like that other slide is the same because like, we copied it. But if you change the content uh, for that one, you can see that I will put it, this is slide four, just to give an example. Uh, and we, you can see that we have one, two, three, and we have slide four. And then it's just a matter of, of changing the content uh, to your own requirements. And, and that is pretty much it. Like it is really as easy as that you will see that all of the sliders have the same functionality. So no matter if you have this cryptography template, if you have for the flow template or an agency template or a tech template, all of those have the same functionality. So it is going to be really as easy as I just described. And that is really pretty much it. Like you can see it's really very easy. So you will be, you will find yourself doing it pretty quickly, but if that is not the case and you are like, it's getting a little hard uh, and you are battling to make it work, we always invite you to go here to the footer, click contact us in the, into the send us a message button and we will be more than happy to help you out. Our support team is always there to help you. So if there's something you are not able to resolve, send us an email and we will do our best to give you a hand. And yep, yeah, like that is pretty much it. I hope you have a great day again. This is Mallory's card from Bricks Templates. I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.